This looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How'd you guess that? <laughs> it's the red hair. Dead giveaway. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. No, it's all right. People seem to like this. Good enough for me. Let's just move on, then. I didn't realize how many of us we'd lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. 
So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know... Those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. This is for you, Minnie.
Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Eh? Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. EJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am?
Just look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. I know I told you I'd always keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Maybe one day you'll be the same. Listen, Clementine. I need to talk to you about AJ. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. I didn't consider who he was, what he felt. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. But no one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. I 
just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. Don't tell me how to raise him. I'm the one who's kept him alive this long, not you. I'm trying to help you save him. It's just some advice from someone who's been there too. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Lewis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself, but... I just want her to be okay. Ken, Minnie's gone. She's not the person you remember. I know. That's why I want you to tell her. Maybe she'll change her mind and want to come home. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. People's lives are depending on us, depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... what if I can't? I don't know, I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Just believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though, I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. Okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught, too? All it would take is one little screw-up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. It's ready. Oh, oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Uh, there. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. There. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. 
You owe me some new clothes. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Find the walkers. Use them as shields. Leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. The guns are coming off. way. Fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming! friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it?
there? this out. I think it's the boiler. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the water. Maybe there's another way in. Wait here. masterpiece we all love and support you once they start up this boat we won't have much time before it explodes how long not sure an hour 30 minutes i guess we'd better move Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother. Short, scarred face. Is he... He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Get. Out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just... just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. Get out of our way, now. There's more of us than you. <sighs> Shit. Fine. But you'll need my help to get your people out. Take them and fucking run. I never want to see you again. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. Yeah. <sighs> 
Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Lewis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> no, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. We're not staying here that long. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? <sighs> We're not moving yet. So, at least we've got some time. I guess. Louis, are you alright? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. 
<laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. I'm not your prize. You're crazy if you think I'd ever fight for you. Everyone talks like that when they first join. You'll come around. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Minnie! You... What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around.
Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Louis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still! No, 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 please! Come! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. I will put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem friendly enough. Don't what the act fuck like are you, you understand doing? what you're happened. gonna get us all killed. You weren't there! <laughs> fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Behind you! You're the fucking problem here! I won't let you get them all killed! Stop, Minerva! I'm warning you! What the hell is going on down oh. here? Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Wait, that's not what I... Dorian, no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just... just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now. Go. I need to find AJ. I... I can... Uh... I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will.
We'll focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around, too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You can even share a room. Found one more sneaking over the docks. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. I found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. Don't listen to her, AJ. All they do is kill. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just... Stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? Oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Fuck! Gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. Do it, AJ! No. AJ, stop! Lily, we couldn't... 
couldn't find the other. What did you do? You are fucking dead! Shit, the bomb! AJ! 